Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about classification of poisons. So before that, let's understand what a poison is. So a poison can be defined as any substance that when relatively small amounts are ingested, inhaled, absorbed, applied, injected or developed within the body has a chemical reaction that causes damage to structure or disturbance of function producing symptoms, illness or death. So a poison is a substance which when taken in small amount also and how can it be taken? It can be either ingested, inhaled, absorbed or it can be applied to the surface or it can be injected inside the body or developed within the body also. So that has a chemical action whenever it reaches your body. So any substance when taken in the body has any kind of chemical action in the body that is leading to any kind of damage to your body which could be damage to the structure or disturbance of the function which might produce certain kind of symptoms or illness or even death so that substance is called poison now there are certain ideal characteristics of poison which includes that they can be tasteless odorless now these these are not applicable to all the poisons but these are the ideal characteristics that they should be tasteless odorless colorless they should be soluble readily in everything then delayed onset of action they should not work instantly it should be uh, their action should be somehow delayed then exotic undetectable low dose of lethality like that means that even a small amount should be leading to death then easily absorb uh, easily obtained but not traceable mimics a natural disease chemically stable decomposes after death and found in burial environment so all these are the poison characteristics that are ideal now let's talk about the classification so classification can be done on the basis of the symptoms that they produce so on the basis of that there are four types of poisons corrosive irritant systemic and miscellaneous then on the basis of analytical can be divided into volatile organic volatile inorganic non-volatile organic non-volatile inorganic acidic alkaline noxious gases plant and miscellaneous and on the basis of the physical state they can be of three types solid liquid and gas so now let's understand the various different types of poisons along with the examples so first comes corrosive poisons corrosive poisons are those poisons that are going to cause inflammation on your body on the site of contact area wherever that poison is applied it is going to cause inflammation or even when it reaches inside your body it is going to cause inflammation for example acids acid if you drink h2so4 it's going to cause corrosion in your body so corrosives are the ones that causes some kind of inflammation or corrosion in whenever they reach your body so they are further off they are further off three types strong acid strong alkali and metallic salts so uh, strong acids are further divided into inorganic acid and organic acid. Inorganic acids include H2SO4 or sulfuric acid, HNO3 nitric acid and HCl hydrochloric acid. Then organic acid include oxalic acid, acetic acids etc. Then strong alkalis include hydrates and carbonates of sodium, potassium, ammonium, etc. Whereas metallic salts include zinc chloride, ferric chloride, KCN, potassium cyanide, chromates and bichromates. So all these are examples of corrosive poisons. Then the second thing is irritant poison. Irritant poisons are those poisons that are going to cause some kind of irritation or pain in your body that even might lead to excessive vomiting etc so they can further be divided into inorganic irritant poison organic and mechanical irritant poison inorganic irritants include they are further divided into metallic and non-metallic non-metallic includes fluorine chlorine bromine iodine whereas metallic inorganic irritants include arsenic antimony mercury etc if you talk about organic irritant then that includes which uh, they can be vegetable or plant poison 
which uh, has the example like abrus precatorius castor croton vicinus communis etc then comes animal which includes snake venom scorpium cantharides etc if we talk about mechanical irritants then that is going to include powdered glass chopped hair diamond dust so all these are examples of irritant poisons then we have systemic poisons these are the poisons that specifically affect certain portions of your body like cerebral spinal peripheral cardiovascular and esophageal so the poisons that affect the cerebral region of our body are further of three types first somniferous second inebriant and third delirient example of somniferous poison include opium barbiturates inebriant poison includes alcohol ether chloroform delirient includes dhatura cannabis and belladonna somniferous means sleep inducing inebriant means that when you have these poisons you are going to have a feeling of drunkenness you feel you are going to feel drunk and delirient means that you are going to feel hallucinations then comes spinal spinal systemic poison include nux vomica and gelseminum the third one is peripheral peripheral one includes curare or conium it's conium spelling mistake then comes cardiovascular which includes aconite oleander digitalis quinine tobacco etc and last is esophageal these includes the gases like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide methane gas h2s hydrogen sulfide gas all right then comes last miscellaneous which includes poisons that are going to cause food poisoning or botulism like clostridium botulinum bacteria is going to cause botulism all right so these comes in the miscellaneous ones then on analytical basis how are poisons divided there are various classes like first is volatile organic poison which includes methanol ethylene glycol formaldehyde chloroform all these are volatile in nature and they're organic then volatile inorganic ones include cyanide arsen phosgene phosphine etc then comes non volatile inorganic now these includes anions and cations in anions come dichromate chlorates nitrite sulfide phosphide cyanide all these are anions that is they have negative charge over them then comes cation which includes thallium barium lead copper all these have positive charge over them then comes non volatile organic ones which includes pesticides and insecticides like organochlorides organophosphate carbamates pyrethroids i have discussed all these separately in my pesticide and insecticide playlist you can check that out then comes non volatile acidic that is they are not volatile but they are acidic in nature these includes phenolic compounds barbiturates sulfa compounds salicylates etc then non volatile alkaline or basic in nature which includes alkaloids and benzodiazepines then comes noxious gases which includes carbon monoxide hydrogen sulfide gas methane gas chlorine gas tear gas war gas etc then the plants plants are also common source of poison which includes plant like abrus precatorius resinus communis oleander aconite dhatura etc miscellaneous again includes mechanical poisons like glass powder diamond dust chopped hair food poison may includes mycotoxin that is the fungi uh, that is going to cause any problem in your body then of course animal like snake and cantharides all are also form of are also um, animals that are going to eject out poison then on the basis of physical state there comes solid liquid and gases you know that there are three physical states solid liquid and gas so for solid poisons they are not absorbed readily they are not absorbed that easily so first they have to be dissolved in your liquid now you can either take them by dissolving uh, you should not take them as in the poison but if someone gives someone poison then that have to be first mixed up into some liquid and then given or if it is taken directly then that is going to first dissolve in the blood 
and then it is going to cause some action these kind of poisons include lead copper thallium arsenic mercury i have discussed the poisoning of all these metals in separate videos in my metallic poison video metallic poison um, playlist you can check that out too then comes liquid poisons they contain both organic and inorganic liquid organic ones are volatile than inorganic like for example alcohol which is organic liquid it is volatile in nature then there are gaseous poisons also like the noxious gases i just discussed for example carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and methane gas war gas tear gas etc h2s all these are types of gaseous poison so this was all about the classification of poisons do let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section please like share and subscribe to my channel